Most golfers spend their entire lives trying to play the nicest courses they can possibly find, but that's not what we're doing here. We're going to do the exact opposite. I'm on a mission to play the lowest rated golf courses in the United States and show you guys along the way that you don't got to be a country club member to enjoy the game of golf. First stop, my hometown of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm on Yelp right now. I'm searching golf courses in Lancaster. I'm going to sort them by the lowest rated and uh, see what we find. It's looking like Evergreen Golf Course in Mannheim uh, is probably the lowest. It's got two and a half stars. I think that's where we're going. And so just paid. It was fourteen fifty to walk eighteen. Didn't need a tee time. There's my receipt. Fourteen fifty. We got our scorecard. Okay, so total is four thousand five hundred and sixty nine yards. A lot of a lot of par fours. A lot of par threes. Only one par five. Par for the course is sixty six. Pretty cool graphics there. Kind of gives you the layout. First impression, I love it. Can't complain, it's beautiful out. It's like 65 degrees. Let's get after it. First hole here was 250 yard par four. Use my little hybrid, my little three hybrid. Maybe on the green right now. Actually ended up past the green. Saw the flex with the hybrid, 250, no biggie. First impressions, I love this course. Little first hole birdie there, I'm all about it. I'll take that all day, 250 yard par four. Yeah. All right, so second hole here, it's like a 200 yard par three. I'm looking up here in the fairway. I'm seeing some like caution tape, some caution ropes surrounding something. I'm extremely interested to see what it is. <laughs> love it, you love to see it. A massive sinkhole in the middle of the fair. Holy cow. Look at this thing. Have you guys ever seen Silence of the Lambs? Like the dungeon that Buffalo Bill is keeping his girl in? Gave me those vibes. Pretty scary. I'm definitely not out here trying to like belittle cheap golf courses. I love cheap golf courses. I would much rather play just like a chill public golf course than some stuck up country club, no doubt. Point of this is just to try and be able to show that you can have a great time playing on public courses, playing on courses that aren't that well kept. You don't gotta be out here paying a ton of money to play golf. So that's kind of the idea of the series. This will definitely be the course if you, if you struggle with your irons. A lot of par threes, a lot of opportunity to try and get better like your mid irons. Tee boxes, not very well kept, pretty, pretty scattered all over the place. Fairways, not well kept. Greens, obviously, kind of the same. Um, pretty, grass is pretty long, pretty slow. I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna blame that on the course. It's more more the weather, the time of year. So um, we'll get a little pass on that one. The only thing that's been pretty alarming is the massive hole. Another sinkhole, not in the middle of the fairway. So I guess it's like kind of off the side, but still, look at that. I guess they have this one filled in a little bit better. As I was playing, I couldn't stop thinking about these sinkholes. How on earth did they get there? We actually caught up with a local Richard to explain it further. Richard, all right, Richard. So you, you said you, you work at this course a little bit part time. What's your uh, what's your favorite part about this course? I like the front nine and the back nine. The back nine's longer. We have a par five, 500 yards on the back. And but there's a lot of short par threes in the front. That makes it difficult. You have to have a good tee shot if you yeah. want a chance to get a par. I noticed some like sinkholes in a couple of the, yeah, the fairways. What's the uh, what's the deal with this? Well, this golf course, when they first built this golf course many years ago, it was just a nine hole course. Then they extended it to 18 and put the 18 hole pitch and putt in. This was all quarry here. Okay. So there is a quarry uh, over here. I see that, yeah, there is a quarry over here. So that's where your sinkholes are. Uh, you have okay. a lot of shell, I think, underneath here. Getting a little bio lesson in here, yeah. too. I love it. My man Richard just breaking it down for us. Hitting it with some hitting us with some facts, what he likes about the course, what he doesn't like about the course. We got a little history and a little bio lesson. Um, you know, the shale, the rock creates those sinkholes. My mind was finally at ease about these sinkholes. I didn't have to think about them anymore. I could just enjoy the golf, enjoy the weather, or so I thought. Just when I thought there weren't gonna be any more random objects or sinkholes popping up in the fairway, this happened. Check this out, in the middle of the fairway. Is that a gas chamber? We got a little mausoleum over here. There's a little trap door. Bang. 
As my round came to an end, I started to think about what kind of review I was going to give this course. No, the greens aren't perfect, and yeah, I guess you can't tell the difference between the fairway and the rough, but is that actually what separates a good golf course from a bad one? I was able to get outside and enjoy the nice weather, and even get a history slash bio lesson from my man Richard. I definitely say all those things are worth the price of admission. With all these things in mind, I'm giving Evergreen a score of four out of five stars. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys later.